Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Battle. This is Second St. Albans. Part of a series of Wars of the Roses scenarios that Pete and Slytherin Forums made. Uh, they're meant to be balanced as part of an overall two-player campaign, not necessarily as individual scenarios. I'm playing them as scenarios just to check them out. Uh, so with that said, you know, some of them are about, some of them are intentionally leading towards one side or the other. So... Here we are, and let me hopelessly click around. I couldn't remember which side I started as. Right. So what's our situation here? His men are gonna have to turn around. So I assume the whole point is we need to press our advantage. Rough ground, open ground. Okay. In that case, oh, interesting. Woods, huh? Get our men at arms forward. They want to get our longbowmen and billmen off to the sides. Maybe they'll be able to do some more good with the terrain there instead of just slamming in head on with the rest of the foot. Uh, not that we have any horse. Uh, cavalry was not really so much of a thing. Okay, now this is going to be a head-on confrontation, so why don't we switch one line to our, uh, to our left, and the other to our right. That's fine. Next turn. So again, turning and shooting is not especially effective in these modified scenarios. And ammunition is limited to two turns. It makes sense to try to hammer through with more men at arms. All right, we're off. Next turn. That could have been a disrupt. Right, loose arrows and charge. Why don't you actually spread out? Prepare to join the fray. Loose some arrows. Oh, that's right, that weird invisible wood. I don't know why that's there. Charge. Okay. 
Oh, I suppose we might as well. Next turn. Well, he's not interested in taking my bait then. Fair enough. You pile over combat strength. Good. One unit of men at arms could be a problem. Turn and face. Mm. Turn and face, try to get our arrows ready at least. And it's a gentle slope. Yes. We can try and take advantage of that. They're out of reach there. Okay, keep moving to reinforce. That's concerning. It's unfortunate. Really good way to reach them, although you have to come back in. Oh no. Interesting. Okay, uh, we can either fight his men at arms directly or attempt to intervene in the center. Depending on which way this bunch goes, we might need to draw away on the right. If we've got more men at arms in reserve, we should try to get them into action. Not really sure how, though. Or make way. Might need to fall back. Next turn. We need to. Ooh, very nice, and he'll need to cover that space. This is annoying, but not <clears throat> not really going to try to do anything about it. They should be out of ammo now.
Not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. So as a result, we can force an auto drop here. Good. Press forward. Pile in with men at arms. Okay, that's fine. You pile in. Here to join the fray. Okay, they're about to auto break. Let's see here. Get in. Lovely now pile in. Ah, what a shame. Okay, what about here? Threaten a drop. That's downhill. But what we could also do, because it's downhill, go there and set up an auto drop. Then pair it to join the fray, circle around. That's fine. Right. Do we come out to meet that? At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident, so let's do so. Perfect. Next turn, a rally on that frag to be Billman. This is fine, we've zoned in a men at arms unit with a unit in rough ground. That is not so fine though. Stay where you are, good. getting reinforcements. Doesn't really feel that necessary, does it? Force an auto drop. Out to firm, start working your way around here, pile on in. men at arms and try to stabilize this. Oops, should have sent to the men at arms, but whatever, they can they can wait. I think that Pete's Wars of the Rose scenarios have a modified combat strength modifier effect. So I think the effect from fighting multiple units is stronger. Not 100% certain about that though. Okay, so we'll send a couple more units that way. In fact, maybe you'll go around two. Next turn, rally on the disrupted billmen, 
And the at arms. That's too bad. Okay, they're disordered now. So, ooh. We will hopefully lose slowly as a result, and we can hit them with our fresh men at arms from open terrain. Take advantage. Good. going to start being a problem, but not one that I'm actually willing to do anything about. Okay, great. Push on. Charge. Keep them moving. They hold firm. This unit's probably gonna go, if not now, so by next turn. No, maybe not, okay. Here you pile in. They're moderately disordered. We are steady. Next. Let's see what that does. Interesting. Uh, let's see if they auto break. The, oh, shit. Okay, well, okay, anyway, that would be cats pushing my office door open here. They hold firm. Okay, fair enough. Out of arrows, so charge. And let's go. And we can all wait. Next turn. Rally and the Billmen and Longbowmen and the Raw Billmen. No big deal, we're still well ahead. His final wave should start arriving in a turn or two, but hoping to have things more or less wrapped up by then. Auto break. Cohesion checks. We held firm on all of them. It's good. Maybe he's trying to block the charge to the zone of control, but I don't think artillery exerts that level of zone of control. Good. At least they can't charge for a turn. Break them. But break them. Uh huh. But break them. Scoring the disrupt. It's good. Let's take advantage. Start to threaten. There. Stay on that hill. Okay. 
Then what? We could... No, we don't have the movement points. Okay, in that case, charge. And of course an auto drop. See if they break. Try again. Frag and break. That's fine, yeah. Okay, and who remains? Just you? Why charge when that could potentially expose a flank? No need to make sacrifices like that when we're winning. Next turn. Okay. More reinforcements trickling in. They keep at least one of those off of us. And we have arrows. Okay, sure. Up. Point in attempting engagement there, here, instead. Oh. Well, that's fine, screw it. Get in there anyway. No? Okay, what about you? See if we can steady this out. Probably not. Locked out. Okay. Who's left? Wait. Uh, 50 and 75. Rather just wait in the rough ground where we'd both be disordered. Shouldn't matter though, that ought to be game. Okay, and that's match. And my natural inclination is to say that this is pretty heavily in favor of Lancastrian army, except that I have seen posted in the forum that other people have won as a Yorkis. Uh, so it kind of throws a wrench in that. Uh, I would say maybe the key then to not getting crushed is to at least wait, but probably withdraw with the initial 
wave and wait for help to arrive and then fight a battle more here with the full strength of the army. Downside, that means that you're allowing more than Catherine reinforcements to trickle in, but upside, you're not going to get outnumbered and hammered early on. There were a few mechanical errors as well, some exposed flanks, the and arms here should not have charged into the rock and disordered themselves, etc. But I I would still be inclined to say this favors Lancastrians. Now again, these are all balanced as part of a campaign and not meant to be balanced as one-offs necessarily. So I don't know what the intention was with how balanced this scenario ought to be. And of course, one playthrough is not a scientific test. So, a good game. Till next time.